This house is very unusual because it's made nearly entirely of cork blocks, placed one on top of the other by hand. There's no glue. What holds them together is an interlocking tongue and groove profile and gravity. It's very interesting from a life cycle point of view. As a bio-renewable material, uh, at the end of the building's life, uh, if it's put together in the right way, it can also be uh, biodegradable. Six years ago, Matthew came to me with an idea about building a house out of cork. We identified it as being able to play all of the roles that a building envelope needs to. So that's external walls and roof. So it can potentially act structurally, to give enclosure, to give thermal insulation and weather tightness. Well, it's always interesting as an architect when you design your own house, um, that the materials you choose and the way they're put together, you're actually designing the experience of that house. But if you don't want to use any formwork and you just want the cork to take the load itself, then the corbel structure is the natural result of that. And each of the pyramids is assigned uh, its own function. So there's the outdoor entrance pyramid, cleaning and washing pyramid, there's the cooking and eating pyramid, the sitting and relaxing pyramid, and then the sleeping pyramid. That was one of the objectives, was to make a very rich sensory experience. So that's why we combined the cork with metals that would offer a little bit of shimmer. So copper pipes up in the roof, all the brass work surfaces in the bathroom and kitchen, and just to give a little sort of lift. Even if I do say so myself, <laughs> it's, uh, it's surprising with, uh, how nice it is to be in here actually and um, there's a really lovely um, acoustic and the smell, the, the quality, the atmospheric darkness in here as well as the light. It's very 21st century technology but it also has these uh, references back to uh, ancient forms of architecture at the same time. Yeah.